this video, we will be demonstrating how easy it is to create a new FlexiPloy project using Blueprints. We will also discuss the different components of our project's configuration, such as our build and deploy workflows, project properties, and source control and branching. For this demonstration, I've created two endpoints and have the source code for our project within a GitHub repository. To begin, we will navigate to the project screen. On this screen, we can see our favorited and recently accessed projects. For this demo, we will create a new project by clicking the Create button. We can now see a complete list of our project blueprints, which are templates used for creating the project and supporting configuration. These blueprints correspond to a technology that Flexiploy supports out of the box. In this example, we will select the Java application blueprint. After selecting your blueprint, you will see a set of options and configurations specific to the target technology. Here, we will provide our application name for our project. In this example, we will be creating a Maven project to be deployed to Tomcat. We will enter our artifact ID for Maven in the application name. Next, we will select our build option. Depending on the technology chosen, we will have a list of different build options. In this case, we will select the Maven build option, which builds the Java application with source code from an SCM repository using Maven. We will select the Tomcat deploy option to deploy our Java application to our Tomcat server. Behind the scenes, Flexiploy will be creating our build and deploy workflows for us based on the build and deploy options we have selected. It will configure our project to deploy to a single environment. It is possible to extend the topology later to include additional environments. Next, we will define our Git repository. We have a few options to define our Git repository, but for this demo, we will simply need to log into the GitHub service account and then let Flexiploy automatically populate the list of repositories. From there, we will select the repository for our project. We will now define our properties for our build and deploy workflows. For our Maven build, we will select our endpoint to run our workflow on. In the case for Maven, we will have it run on our local Flexiploy server. Then, we will provide our Maven run command and any additional Maven run arguments. For our deploy properties, we will set our endpoint to be our dev Tomcat server where we are deploying our artifacts and define the Tomcat Catalina home. Finally, we can confirm and create our project. Flexiploy will handle the creation and configuration for our new project using the details we entered. Once the project creation is complete, we will navigate to our new projects page. We can see what was created and configured by the blueprint by navigating to the configuration tab. The first thing we'll cover is our build and deploy workflow. As I said earlier, our blueprint will automatically create the workflows for our selected options. We can see our build workflow, build target group, and our next project build number. Next, we can see our deploy workflow information. The details for deployments are similar to the build details. Next, we'll navigate to the project properties configuration section. This will contain all the properties that are relevant to our project. The blueprint will have already populated our required properties, but we may need to populate additional property values based on our build and deployment process. The source control section will contain all the configurations for our repository for the project. The sources section will contain the information for our specific GitHub repository. We can see our source repository that we selected from our blueprint, as well as some information to determine which branch we will build from and our subdirectory we will check out. Below our sources, we can see our list of branches. These branches within Flexiploy will correlate to the branches on your GitHub repository. We have a default main branch, but you may want to change this to match your branching strategy on your repository. With additional branches defined, we can select which branch of our repository we want to build our source code from. In this video, we learned how easy it is to create a new project using a blueprint. We learned how the blueprint serves as a template to simplify the configuration. We discovered how the blueprint creates the configuration for a single deploy target, which can be later extended within the topology. We also reviewed the configuration, which was completed by the blueprint, and how it can be adjusted as requirements change. Thank you for watching.